Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Hope you guys are doing well today. Recording this intro separately from the episode, we ended on such a nice note that I didn't want to do an outro and end it. So we're doing the intro now. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you. If you're enjoying the series, hit the thumbs up button. And without further ado, episode two. Hey. Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think he's waking up. You hey, had doctor. us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, like, um, uh, you know, I'm not great. <laughs> Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh, don't blame yourself. We didn't know what we were getting into. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Is it destroyed? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Uh... Was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. It wasn't a dream, dude. It was more like a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. Sir? How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um... I feel bad for Jenkins. Is that the guy who died? Oh, no. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Do I get different dialogue if I select this? I don't like soldiers dying. Under Jenkins my... wasn't no. your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Uh, you wanted to talk, sir. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. You've got nothing to hide, sir. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. You know, he wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Do you think he's... What if he thinks I'm crazy if I told him I... <clears throat> I had a vision, sir. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? You know, honestly, I'm not sure. So, let's go with a warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. 
He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it, sir. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. <laughs> that seems like a weird... It seems like there'd be a chain of command from that. And not just me walking over and being like, Joker! Joker, let's go ahead and park, okay? Hey, Commander. Hey, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. Oh, could you imagine saying soldiers die? Oh my god. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. I feel like that's not her burden to carry, you know what I mean? You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Yeah, you know, whatever. No big deal. But, you know, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Hey, you helped for sure. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Well, we're glad to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Williams. Why would you want to make someone feel bad They're on their first day on the job? That's a terrible thing to do. <laughs> I like this fucking guy. Every time you leave the room and then you come back in, he has to salute you. <laughs> and then he just watches you with his fucking eyeballs. Look at him. He's like, oh my god. Is he really gonna do it again? And he knows the answer is yes. Where's my salute, soldier? <laughs> At ease, soldier. <laughs> Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. of that ship the ascension flagship of the citadel fleet well size isn't everything why so touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing it's on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Loading this screen was a little outrage. jarring. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. Yeah. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel security is investigating your charges against Saren. 
We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Let's go to the hearing. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, it's the truth, unfortunately. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I remember never liking that guy. He always just... is like nails on a chalkboard. Can't stand him. Big place. Yeah, Caden, it is. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Okay, that's a little insensitive, but I guess we're just gonna let that slide. Computer console, easy decryption, let's go. This is my forte. This is a little strange, I gotta be honest. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Alliance portal report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for the sector. Do you want to send a recon team? Okay. <laughs> there wasn't even a multiple choice. Yeah, I guess we'll send a recon team. All right. I seem to remember one of my favorite characters in the whole game was around here somewhere. I understand what you're saying. But these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My <laughs> reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. Oh, All shit. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. I love these guys. They're like... They remind me of mole miners from Fallout, but they have like Darth Vader breathing. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Can you come with me? Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador, is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Please come with me. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Woo! Hello. Okay, Ashley, I might see what you mean now. I went up the other set of stairs, and it looks like there's just a bunch more diplomats and stuff. Hello. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Yep. Okay. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. That's right, Commander! Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? You were talking about a consort. What's that about? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. 
You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have Yo, that fun, sounds then. fun. We should go do that. Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yeah, do I need an appointment? Oh, it's crazy. I'm sorry. I totally lost track. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Great. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Really? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I already made an appointment! I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Oh, fuck yes, dude! Yes, of course, mistress. I knew this was a good idea. Who needs huh. to go rat it out a specter? Has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Who needs to go rat out a specter when you can go meet with some kind of mystical lady? Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. <laughs> All right. That is close enough, Commander. Okay. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Uh, who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Well, tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh my goodness. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. So, what went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. This seems like it's not my fucking job. Even a little bit. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Why are you hugging me? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yeah, sorry I pulled a gun on you. So, go tell your ex-husband to stop being weird. Got it? Oh, you mean I can't see where this soap opera's going? <laughs> All right. Captain Anderson, sir. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The he investigation was, by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. But he An was there. I saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. He's that lying! That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. 
And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh, how did you... I'm not gonna say that. That was you, motherfucker! You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. They but what history. can you expect from a human? Insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Yeah, I'll find proof, you know. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Oh, Are we allowing shit. dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You don't want to hear about my dream? <laughs> You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? There was definitely bad blood there already. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Well, the Council's not gonna help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. The That's handsome right. one? He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Yo, I'll talk to him 100%. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Yeah, I'm on it. Don't even worry about it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. You know, I've heard of this. You want me to go see him? I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. All right, take care, my dude. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. So, General Harkin is who we just talked about, right? Yeah. Harkin's who we just talked about. Well, that consort lady wants us to talk to General Septimus down there. This place looks like it's really convenient for quest turn-ins. Thank you. Cora's Den. That's him. That's who? Oh, shit! Uh, we have assassins shooting rockets at us. Okay, that's how we're starting this. What do we have for abilities? We have a sabotage. We have his barrier. Uh, let's focus our efforts on this assassin on the left side. Hit him with a shield overload. Okay, it didn't work. 
The shield overload is hovering next to my face. That's a good start. This guy's moving up. Maybe we could sabotage. Oh, because it's targeting there. Take cover. You know, pistols seem pretty good. Those were Sarah's men. You think those were Sirens? I don't think we can prove that. They were definitely assassins, though. Dude, who brings a rocket launcher to a gunfight? Come on, man. Oh, it's one of these kind of buys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's my reaction, too. Huh. Oh, I see Harkin over in the corner. Ah, General! Just a man I came to see. Commander! What do you want? Well, Shaira sent me. I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Yeah! Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. That's fucking pathetic, my dude. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Get a grip. Oh, can I not do it? Well, I could say forget this or I'm not leaving, so I'm not leaving. I think straighten up would be a paragon choice and get a grip is a paragon, uh, a renegade choice. Paragon, renegade. Uh, but I can't do either because we don't have enough history with either side. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. I don't buy it, my dude. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. <sighs> Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Sober up, my dear. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Oh, I think we heard that, actually. How do I convince him? What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Uh, he's in the embassy, right? Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know... You might make a good general yourself one day. General Walter Shepard. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Caden. Yeah, take that, Caden. Back off, Rex. This call was to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. Oh my god, I love you. Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. 
No, let's get caught in the middle. Where did he go? Oh, no, it's just a patron. That's not Rex. Let's talk to Harkin. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel security. Biggest mistake of my life. Hey, so I actually need some information. I don't know why you told me any of that. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? That's none of my concern. I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. That is interesting. How do you know this? You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. That's <laughs> disgusting. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? All right, that's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. All right, thanks, man. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Hey, guess who's got good news? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Business is why I'm here, big guy. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Well, I can help you. Turns out I've been walking all over this city. I've heard all kinds of things today. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Yeah, tell him, Ashley. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just don't be mad at the consort, okay? The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. <laughs> I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Hey, see you later, man. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. <laughs> Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Yes! I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Rude. Apologetic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Hey, do only good every day. Do you think the consort will just let me walk back there this time? I'm not even going to ask the attendant. That's right. It was a long time ago. I'm just going to go on back. Hey, good news. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Well, I'm very glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is it? What are you offering me? 
I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thank you. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. So she just told me, she just boosted my self-esteem and then gave me a piece of trash. Am I, am I getting that right? Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. All in a day's work, you know.